The universe is full of secrets, waiting to be discovered by various spacecraft sent by space agencies from all around the world. Voyager 2 is one such spacecraft, it was launched by NASA to study the outer planets of our solar system. Its primary mission was to explore Jupiter and Saturn. After making a series of discoveries there, such as active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io and intricacies of Saturn's rings, Voyager's mission was extended. Voyager 2 went on to explore Uranus and Neptune and is still the only spacecraft to have visited either of these two ice giant planets. Voyager 2 is now in its extended mission to study interstellar space and has been operating for 43 years, as of 2021. It remains in contact through the NASA Deep Space Network. Voyager 2 is the fourth of five spacecraft to achieve the solar escape velocity, which allowed it to leave the solar system. In the year 2018, Voyager 2 went around the Sun's influence boundary, thereby becoming the second spacecraft to enter interstellar space. Ever since, Voyager 2 has been bringing information about space that extends beyond our solar system. The signal from Voyager 2 is still beaming back, taking more than 16 hours to reach Earth. Its 22.4-watt transmitter has a power equivalent to a fridge light, which is more than a billion times dimmer by the time it reaches Earth and is picked up by NASA's largest antenna, a 70-meter dish. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft came across something strange in interstellar space. The Voyager found that the density of outer space is increasing which has challenged the earlier accepted fact about space being a vacuum. Space is generally thought of as a vacuum, but it isn't, not completely. The density of matter is extremely low, but it still exists. In the solar system, the solar wind has an average proton and electron density of 3 to 10 particles per cubic centimeter, but it grows lower the farther out you go from the sun. The mean electron density of the interstellar medium in the Milky Way has been calculated to be around 0.07 particles per cubic centimeter. And the plasma density in the outer heliosphere is around 0.002 electrons per cubic centimeter. When people say that space is a vacuum, they mean that the parts of space that are far away from planets and stars are nearly a vacuum. That means that the concentration of particles in those regions is very tiny compared to the concentration in the Earth's atmosphere. While there are various unknown facts that are yet to be discovered, this recent discovery about the increasing space density has surprised everyone. But this is not the first time that such an increase in density has been detected. In 2013, Voyager 1 made a similar observation, but at a different location. The new findings have not only confirmed Voyager 1's observations, but have also hinted that an increased surface density might be a widespread feature of the very local interstellar medium. This is the space outside the heliopause. The heliopause is the solar system's edge that the Voyager probes have crossed. Several theories have been suggested to explain this increased density. One theory suggests that the increase might be due to interstellar magnetic fields becoming stronger as they bend over heliopause. Another theory is that material blown by the interstellar wind should slow as it reaches the heliopause, causing a sort of traffic jam. This has possibly been detected by the New Horizon probe, which in 2018 picked up the faint ultraviolet glow resulting from a buildup of neutral hydrogen at the heliopause. Space is huge, we have only discovered 0.1% of the observable universe. There are several things that are yet to be discovered. The theories are formed based upon assumptions. To really know the truth behind these recent observations, another spacecraft needs to be sent for studying the matter closely.